Hello everyone, Creative Fun here back again with another vegan video. Uh, this is a little bit, uh, how to say, <laughs> it's a little bit unrehearsed. Uh, I haven't, I didn't really first plan to make a video about this until after I've done what I'm going to do right now. Uh, but I figured why not just take you all along for the ride. Um, I'm gonna, we're gonna look at, the, as you can probably see by the title, we're gonna look at the RVR in the vegan. And I actually literally had, literally had a subscriber ask me uh, about making a video, uh, requesting me making a video about the RVR. So I figured <laughs> it's my first subscriber requested video, I think. Yay! This is probably going to be my uh, last vegan video for quite a while. I think I've covered most of the things I want to cover with the vegan. And uh, all the other things... Uh, both XX John and Bunyap Sims have been covered extensively about other things, uh, features in the vegan, so I don't feel I need to do that. Once the vegan go out of uh, beta, uh, I am definitely gonna make like a review or, or at least an impression about the vegan or something like that. Uh, well, as you can tell from the vi videos I've been making, <laughs> I obviously I really enjoy this uh, simulator, but I want to wait until it's outside of open beta. There's still a few things I want them to see sort out uh, and uh, a little bit more polish on the simulator before before I want to give my uh, final two cents on the vegan. Um, anyway, uh, let's get started. So. Uh, my idea here is simply what I, I'm not going to go through every single uh, object in DCS that has a radar uh, built into it because I'm just way too lazy for that. However, uh, we're going to check out a couple of things. We're going to start with fighter aircrafts, then we're going to check some SAMs, and we're going to see if we cannot uh, see how the RVR reacts to that. Okay, so we have a red vegan and a blue F-15, and the F-15 is going straight towards the vegan, so hopefully they'll intersect. Uh, it'll show up on where we are and try to shoot us down. Oh, there we have a beep, and that's the F-15's radar signature. Now let's switch this one out with um, the Mirage. I want to see if we can... There's a different tone with the Mirage or not, or if that's the standard tone for any uh, for for any fighter. If I was a little bit unclear in the last uh, part here, um, there is one, two, three, four, five, six lights here, and they give you a general indication of where the radar signal is coming from. Of course, if you have multiple radar signals, the strongest one, uh, I believe, according to manual, I think, uh, is the one that you're going to hear. Uh, but you're going to be able to see, like, if you have a radar signal coming from 9 o'clock uh, and one from 3 o'clock, you're going to see both lights here beeping or, or flashing. You can, over here, turn off the um, uh, beeping sound. So, uh, in use, use means light, so only light. Thrown means off, so it means that the RVR is off. So we can see it's coming from this region here, probably in this area here. We have the Mirage moving towards us. And that's definitely a different sound than the F-15. So that was the Mirage. Let's keep on looking here. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Which other aircraft can we take? Let's go for the MiG-21 and let's give it some radar missiles. So it's actually... We need to give it to Cap Cap. That's the radar guided missile, let's go for that. Okay, that's very interesting. That's the MiG-21 sound. Uh, Russia and the cap, and then we're gonna go. We're gonna go with the MiG-29 first. I think we have visual on the MiG-21. There it is, probably launching its missiles at me as we speak. Let's go for the Su-27. I think that's the... I'm gonna do the Su-33 after that as well, and then we're done with the fighters. And there we go, the Su-27. I think it sounds very much like the... Um, the MiG-29. It could be because they might actually have a similar radar installed. It might actually be the same radar system since they're the same type of aircraft. 
but that's the SU-27 radar sound. Uh, after the SU-33, I actually want to check the F-18 Hornet as well. Since it's a module that's definitely showing up in DCS in a relatively short time span, it might be nice to know already now what type of uh, radar sound it makes. Yeah, that's definitely the same sound. So this is the SU-35. So unless my ears are completely off, which they could be, you have to go back. I'm going to go back and look at this myself as well, because this might be a good uh, study video for me as well. Uh, anyway, uh, so it seems like the major three Russian uh, air-to-air aircrafts uh, have the same radar sound. The funny thing though, the MiG-21 has a very distinct, and the Mirage as well, a very distinct sound. So, And I've already forgotten what the F-15 sounds like. So we're going to uh, switch sides here again, and we're going to jump over to... Uh, uh, let's see here, put you in the Russian and put uh, America here, God bless America, cap, F-18, F-18C, there we go, and uh, we're gonna give you some, uh, some membranes as well so you can shoot at me, let's give you a nicer skin though, that was not nicer. There we go, this is a nice skin. Uh, so let's have a listen to the FA-18C. Maybe a little bit brighter sound. My ears might be fooling me now, but anyway, that's the F-18C sound. So that was a run through for the most common fighters uh, used in DCS. So please use this as a guide. Uh, you can always jump back and forth and listen to the sound. I'm gonna make sure to put some uh, proper text up uh, for whatever, uh, telling you which fighter you're listening to at the moment. Anyway, um, it's not just fighters you have to worry about when you're flying an aircraft in DCS. Uh, we're gonna remove that fighter and we're gonna uh, switch back to Sweden here. I don't wanna be Russia if I can avoid it. And if you are Russian and you are offended by that, I do apologize. So let's check out some air defenses. We we'll start with uh, SA-15 Thor. And there, there we have the Thor. It's a very distinct sound. Very sharp, long noise. Let's move on here and see if we can set up some other uh, system. SA-3, I think. So that's the SA-3 radar signal there. So that was the SA-3, uh, we're gonna keep going through some of them again here. I'm not gonna go through every single one of them because there's so many. But we can check out the SA-6 Cub here. Oh, there we go. So that's the SA-6 uh, or the Cub. And they obviously got me locked up or at least they are pointing the radars in my general direction. So that's how that sounds. Great, and uh, now let's switch sides again uh, and check out the Patriot missile. So that's the Patriot missile battery. I think that's enough for now. So let's check out the um, Hawk system as well. And there we have the Hawk signal. It's definitely different from the Patriot, absolutely. So there's the AWACS. And uh, we're just gonna check out what the sound that makes. So let's... Oh. And there we have the AWACS. Briefly. It seems to be very long intervals. Probably because it's a radar that's spinning and hitting us Sporadically, yes, that's the AVAX, a very deep sound actually. So we're gonna check out just the sound, the uh, Russian version of the AVAX, uh, what sound that makes, and then I'm gonna call it a night for this video. So there we go, the sound the um, A50 Russian AVAX uh, makes. I feel a little bit deeper than the American one, but nah, probably the same.
But anyway, uh, I'm gonna review all this and I actually try to remember the sounds myself. So anyway, that was a comprehensive look at the, the different uh, tones you can expect to hear from the Vigan RVR and as is, uh, seen or rather heard, uh, different aircrafts and installations clearly have different sounds, although some of them do sound a little bit similar. Uh, so it definitely requires some pack practice, but I believe the most distinct one was the Mirage and the MiG-21, so at least you can discern about those. The AWOX 2 was very clearly you know, a much deeper uh, sound than uh, the other ones, so it will be very easy to discern if you're hearing an AWAX or not, I think. Thank you so much for watching this video, and um, don't forget to be a little bit social, you know, write a comment if you liked, or, or hit the like button, and subscribe maybe, and check my Twitter out. Please don't forget to check my Twitter, at Real Creative Fun. Uh, I'm having uh, loads of fun with this Twitter. I'm, I know I'm late to the party, but anyway, uh, I am enjoying Twitter and <laughs> my first Twitter account. So please, please follow, follow me there. And uh, yeah, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.